In this video, we'll explore ways that you can use Mentimeter to build interactive questions and polling in your course online. So when you have a topic that you'd like to ask questions about, say for example, a pre-check where you ask students to list all the things they already know or currently believe about the topic, you can then use the share button in Mentimeter and copy the voting link for, for this particular poll. In your course, you would simply create a link to that Mentimeter question. Paste the link that you got from the Mentimeter into the URL bar and choose to open it as an external resource. I can see that my topic was successfully completed and if I go back to my week one, I can scroll down to find that item in my week one and drag it up to the top of my module so that it's the first object that my students will interact with when they come into my course. So before they ever get into reading any content, they'll go ahead and they'll do the introductory poll. Now, I'd also like my students, this link, when my students click it, will open up the Mentimeter voting and students will be able to vote on this but another layer that I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to have my students see the poll here in my course. In order for my students to see the poll live as it populates back in Mentimeter, instead of in the participation area, I'll go to presentation sharing. In here, I'll copy the embed code, which lets me embed the results for that presentation anywhere I like. In my module in Econestoga, I'll simply edit the properties in place, add a description, view the results live below, and then using the insert stuff button, I'll go ahead and scroll down to be able to enter that embed code right here. Make sure that you allow the content to be visible and choose to always trust this URL. Students may see this message as well. Once I insert that, it will always appear to my students as live content in my course. Now when I flip to student view, I can see it exactly how my students view it and they'll be able to see this interactive poll right here. They're also able to go to menti.com and use this code to be able to participate. Just know that this code will expire typically within two to seven days. It will be refreshed when the student refreshes their page.